Hello there, in this video I'm going to introduce you the new customization options we have for modern pages in Serpent Online. Specifically, we are going to talk how we can easily customize the page title in a modern Serpent Online page. So, here I am in a modern Serpent Online uh, communication site, and what I'm going to do is just to create a new page. So, click on New and then Page. As you can see here, since we are uh, using a communication site, we can choose between different uh, page templates. In this case, I'm going to choose the single column one, and then I will click cre uh, Create. This is my new page, and as you can see here, uh, this is the new stuff that is coming in regards of customizing the uh, header of the page. So we can uh, just type a title for the page, such as, uh, yeah. Breaking news, for instance, and uh, we can customize the author author by line. So, uh, by default, the author by line field is populated with the current user, but uh, we can remove and we can put any other user with access to the site. For instance, Dave the minion. And uh, what you can do is just to customize the header of the page. And by customizing, I mean that you can change the layout. And it, this is actually the new thing we have for customizing modern server online page. So you can choose between four different layouts. Use the default one, that is actually, uh, we have a background image and also title. We can just choose um, plain layout, which means no uh, background image. Color block, which means uh, we have a more uh, white uh, uh, header. Uh, we also have a background uh, image and we have a, a color block just for the page title and we have also the overlap that means that a part of the uh, page header is just in the title area and all, another part is also part of the actually of the news layout itself so let's uh, keep the default layout the image and title and the other thing we can do is just um, choose a different alignment. Uh, by default, uh, we have the left. We can choose center. One of the side effects is that we are, um, for instance, missing the profile picture uh, of the uh, uh, author by line. Uh, so I'm going to keep the left one. You can put a test about title, such as just a quick summary of about the news. For instance, yeah, uh, latest news in the company. or company latest news. Yeah, we can also choose to show or not the publish date. In this case, I'm going to do that. And yeah, as soon as you are ready, what you can do is just submit for approval the page, just in case you have enabled the uh, approval flow for this uh, for this site page doc uh, document library, that, that's the case. And of course, you can change the background of your um, page, you can uh, add more WordPass here, and so on. I'm ready, so I'm going to submit for approval. I'm fine, actually, I don't want uh, just to follow the approval process, because what I want to do uh, now is just to show you another piece of functionality in regards of uh, these new customization options. If uh, we go um, just behind the scenes to the site contents pages, page, to the site contents page, sorry, and then I click on site pages. As you can see here, I have a, my a new model page that is actually in draft mode, but what I want to show you here is that we have uh, also another metadata um, properties for this page, for the pages stored here. So we can go to column settings and then show high columns. And um, uh, what I want to show you is just uh, that we have an author by line property. Here we go. And we also have a, yeah, the first power state. So click on apply. And as you can see, as you can see here, basically in the author by line, you are seeing actually the user you choose uh, as author in your page. So I choose Dave. Dave is shown here. Um, uh, the first public date is the date uh, that is going to appear as soon as uh, I send for approval this page. So we can do that. So, uh, yeah, let's go to the page. We are going to click on submit for approval. Here we go. Let's give some time. 
Okay, please approve this page. It's fine. And the submit. So it's submitted for approval. Since this is actually the approval, it's my current user. I can review the, uh, the approvals. So I have received just this, uh, uh, this approval request. So I can approve the page. It's OK. Of course, of course, I can do this directly in the uh, from the the flow center, or I can do this uh, also uh, directly by email. So if I go back to the site page document library, yeah, and uh, since I didn't save the view, I need to again uh, to add the columns. So hey, columns and. Uh, first publish date and then author by line and click on apply yeah you will see actually that the, the approval status is approved i was expecting that the first publish date was populated by the approval date but this is not the case um yeah i i have the author by line that is still the, the minimum and that's all uh, i hope you have uh, found this video interesting uh, as you can see, uh, we have a uh, very cool uh, uh, stuff in regards of customizing the page header of the model sample page. As I say, uh, I hope you have found this video interesting. And yeah, talk to you soon. Bye.